When we're talking about area, um, if you recall, area is just about how much 2D space something takes, right? Length is about one dimension, like backwards and forwards or up and down. But area always requires two dimensions. There's an up and down, and there's also a left and right. So when we describe these units for area, we need to have both of them in mind. So for example, if you could label both uh, the up down and the horizontal, I should have said vertical, shouldn't I? The vertical and the horizontal lengths, let's for example label them one meter. How do we work out the area of this shape? You go ahead, Anush. Times the length by height. Very good. We're multiplying these two together. Now, just like before, I emphasize the units here with Krishan, right? Units are so important. When we multiply these two lengths together, we multiply the units as well. We get one from the numbers, one times one. But instead of saying meters, what's my unit for area here? Yeah. Meters squared. Very good. Meters squared. Or alternatively, you might like to put this in another color. We sometimes say one square meter because it's literally in the shape of a square. Now, this is one square meter, but you of course have all these other metric units. Here's what I'd like you to do underneath where you've drawn your square. Um, I'd like you to list out as many metric units for length that you can think of them. Maybe we'll just start at a millimeter because I know you could get as, um, as small as you like after that, like micrometers and nanometers and all that kind of thing. Let's just start at millimeters. I think that's fine. We can see millimeters. After one millimeter, I'd like you to write as many of the next units that you can, increasing in size. And maybe we can stop at a kilometer. See, can you do the ones in between? And I'll give you a minute or so to try and complete that list. We're looking at the metric units for length. I think there should be two missing. Ah, that's clever. Okay, what's after millimeters? Yeah. Centimeters. Thank you, Jessica. Centimeters. Um, go ahead, David. What's after? Th say it again. A meter. Just a meter, which we actually already had on the board. And then I went to straight to a kilometer. Um, some of you might have thought, oh, I know, there's an extra one in here. What happens when you've got about two and a half centimeters? About two and a half. What, what do we call that? We call that an inch, but there's a reason why I have not included this on the list. Inches are not a metric unit. Does anyone remember what they're called? In that old system, inches and feet. Starts with an I. Imperial. Imperial, very good. So I've not included them on this list. Louise? Is there anything called decimeter? Ah, that's a good question. Um, if we had a decimeter, what do you think that name suggests to you? Where do you think it should fit? So here do you. Between here and here? Does decimeter sound like it's 10 centimeters? Yes. Hmm. Yeah. This is interesting, isn't it? Uh, we know deck like a decade or a decagon, that's 10. But some people are saying no. Does someone want to suggest where else it could go, not here? Where do you think it should go here? Between here and here? Because this is like meters and then decimeter, like 10 of, so you think it should be 10 of these? Huh. 10 of meters. 10 meters. 10 meters. So you reckon they should be in here? Some people reckon it should be in here. Does anyone else reckon it should go elsewhere? I reckon it should be one centimeter, one millimeter. One centimeter. Wait, hold on. Between he here. Is this where you should put it? That's where you'd put them? Huh. Now, I'm going to... Yeah, so Henry, what do you think? I think it's like um, 10 centimeters. Is it decimeter? 10 centimeter equals one decimeter. Let's think about this for a second. We actually have enough information on the board, I think, to work out where it's going to be. I haven't told you the answer yet. Um, when we say a centimeter, centimeter, let's actually use, can we write the whole word? One centimeter. What does that mean? Yeah. No, I was just saying about like one cent. Yes. So it's like one out of a hundred. Yep. Yeah, very good. This is actually kind of where I was going. You've sort of preempted what I was going to write. One meter is just like a dollar, right? It's 100 of these, right? Do you agree? So to take a centimeter, it's like taking, oh, where it is, there it is. Ah, taking my meter, 
right? And then I divide it into how many portions? A hundred. And that gives you, um, that's one centimeter down there, right? So if that's what a centimeter means, what do you think that sounds like? Dividing up a meter into what? How many chunks? Not a hundred chunks. Probably ten chunks. One, two, three, four. How big would each of those chunks be if there were ten all the way across? I think it would be... 10 centimeters as Sandy is suggesting. It's not because it's 10 of those, it's because dividing this into 10. Does that make sense? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so we started to do this. We said a meter equals 100 centimeters. What's a centimeter in terms of the previous unit? Yeah, go ahead, Jessica. Uh, a centimeter is 10 millimeters. Very good, 10 millimeters. And then the last one down the bottom, what's a kilometer? How many meters are there? Anush? A thousand, very good. And that's because kilo means a thousand, just like kilogram is a thousand grams. Okay, now these are the units for length. But now beside these, if we have a think about when they have area. For example, one square centimeter, or one square meter, or one square kilometer, okay? You have to be really careful with these, right? Because you know how, for example, to go from a meter to centimeters, we multiply by 100, right? Well, let's have a look at this here. Can we have a look back at our square? We labeled it as a meter and a meter. What would the dimensions of the square be in centimeters, according to what we've just written? Yeah, Harry? 100 centimeters. 100 centimeters? And that would also be 100 centimeters. So now when we do what we suggested at the beginning by multiplying our height and our width, what number are we going to get out when we get 100 and 100? What are we going to get? 10,000. 10, That's 10,000 square centimeters, right? So you're multiplying not by 100, but by 100 squared. What about in a square centimeter? How many millimeters squared will be in that thing? Hmm, have a think about this for a second. Hmm. Yeah, Krishan, what are you thinking? 100 millimeters. Where did that 100 come from? Think about it. Think about it. Yeah, so Henry, where's the 100 coming from? Yeah, very good. See this 10? It's 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters. That's the 10 times 10 gives us 100. Let's do the last one here on the list. A square kilometer. This is really big. Harry. Million. One million? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. And can you see where we got the million from? Where did the million come from? It's huge. It's a thousand times a thousand, yeah? Now, these lengths here, um, as you can see, sorry, these areas, I should have said, they get bigger and bigger really, really fast. So actually, it's not quite decimeters, but we do sneak one more metric unit, and it goes right in here. Does anyone know what it's called? It's a weird one. Yeah, Hedda. A hectare. One hectare. Uh, we abbreviate this just by saying H. A. I don't know why we don't use H-E, because, well, anyway, that's okay. Uh, does anyone know, I mean, Heidi, you put your hand up pretty quick. Does anyone know how big a hectare is? Yeah. 10,000. 10,000. So, if you were to draw a hectare as a square, what would the lengths of the sides be to get to 10,000? We actually already have 10,000 on the board. Yeah, here. 100 meters by 100 meters. 100 meters by 100 meters, very good. So this is a, uh, an area that often gets used when you're measuring things like say, in agriculture, you don't really care about how meters are in your field, you care about how much stuff you can fit on there. That's an area question. So hectares are frequently used in places like that.